welcome back to my channel. This is Dollar Rose. Hi, babes. How you guys doing? So, I'm actually super excited because um, I want to do like a very more like artistic look, like more like be a little bit more creative than usual. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my watermelon posts. I'll put it right here. But since I did that, I actually want to do more looks like that, like fruit based or animal based or like something like that, like just different looks. So today I want to do like an actual like. I guess like a cow look or like a polka dot look, I guess. Either or, you guys want to call it. But I think it's going to be a really simple look. As in not too many products, but it might take a little bit more like practice. Or I might have to do it really slowly. But I already based my eyelids. Oh my god, guys. I just, I'm so excited because it's like Halloween time. So I want to do more. That's why I also want to do more creative looks. Just to jazz it up a little bit, you know. So, I don't know which liner I'm going to go in. Is it going to be my next matte liquid liner? I might use this one or I might use my Wet n Wild um, Breakup Proof Waterproof Liquid Liner. This eyeliner is so good, guys. I really like it. It's um, I don't really like um, like pen stuff, but it's super matte and it's so easy to apply it. Like just like this, look at it. You guys see that? So I actually really like this. So I might use this or I'm gonna kind of play with both of these, but let's just. To hop right into this. I'm gonna shake both of them up. Okay, let's go with this one. And how I'm doing this, babes, is I'm just gonna outline right here and like that. So you guys see like how easy this is. Something like that, and then I'm gonna go into with this one and kind of smooth the more things out. And it's okay, guys, we kind of mess things up just because we're gonna go in with a white concealer to really clean everything out. But I want to make sure you guys could see it still when I look straight on and it's not like going underneath my eyelid. So I want this look to be able to actually be seen whether my eyes are open. Well, open or close so that's the biggest thing so you guys even when I go like this you guys can still kind of see like the line of it so that's a really important thing so I'm gonna just do this all camera base because to get them both like precise it's just gonna be hard so let's just do this one like this all right guys so there it is I did a little bit thick and <laughs> doubled but I actually like this marker a lot guys I'm telling you guys I actually did this eye only with this marker it's super easy guys this one i'm telling you guys my favorite eyeliners are the nyx Pro, uh, matte liquid liner and then the wet n wild breakup proof marker eyeliner and i'm telling you i don't like eyeliners but this one is so so bomb guys so you guys look closely we do kind of have like where it's messed up like when i drew lines and i redid them so i'm gonna go in with a uh, no filter concealer and this is in the shade white and i'm also doing this also just because i really want a white base all underneath the white eyeshadow to really pop it out so we're getting this and then we're just gonna pop this in what do you guys think of these looks do you guys like them i know they're not like to wear like obviously they're too crazy for an everyday wear but would you guys wear them at least for pictures do you guys like at least like seeing these looks i really like these looks i think they're cool i need your babe's help Give me some more creative looks. Like, I wrote down some cool looks. Like, you guys want me to do a pineapple look? I'm super excited to actually do that one. I'm going to do it really soon. Okay, guys. So, you guys see how I kind of went over my black liner? So, I'm just going to get my liner again. And I'm just going to fix it. You guys want, like, a really sturdy line when it comes to this. Like, really nice, really clean. Take your time. You guys see that? Like, how you guys are able to still see it? Bomb! I know what I call this, guys. Like, tell me what this look to remind you. Like, is it going to look like a cow or like a polka dot? It's like polka dots or cows. Are they the same thing? Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> how it comes out. So we're just doing the other eye. Oh my god, babe. Speak. So since I'm just doing this, probably shouldn't talk, but I want to talk. Because I actually like talking to you guys a lot. <laughs> Next month is it hold on i'm gonna get like a cleaner because since i have a double line i'm gonna use some makeup uh makeup remover just to clean the bottom line real quick 
next month I'm gonna have so many fun videos for you guys like they're not usually what I do or at least one of them but I'm super excited guys to be posting these new videos I don't want to give you no like I don't want to like burn it out but it's gonna be really good to videos what kind of videos do you guys like to watch you guys are on YouTube I love watching different videos just depending on my mood <laughs> one thing I do is like a guilty pleasure and I probably this is probably why I gained weight <laughs> but I love to look at like how to make a certain food or just look at food videos like at 2 in the morning 12 1 2 in the morning and I always do that I always stay up late just watching cooking videos I don't know why I do that to myself but I do actually a lot of things babes I know this is off like topic but a lot of things that I actually um cook I just YouTube it Alright guys, so this eye is looking super good. I just went with makeup remover just to kind of remove some of the black because you have to be careful because since we're using white and black, you guys can make the gray color. You don't really want a gray color, so just be careful. So if you know that's going to happen, use makeup remover first. If you guys recreate this look, let me know. Okay guys, so we have those nicely cut just like that. They look really, really good honestly guys. They look really really good so i'm gonna go into my um morphe james Char james charles palette just because i really like the white in this palette it looks like it has like untouched but i really really like this white so i'm gonna go into with that okay guys so i have that white exactly where i want it and then i'm gonna go in with a clean brush cleaning up any fallout around yeah, where I don't want the white at. So, like, I don't want the white on my actual black liner. Or underneath right here. And then this is the fun part, babes. This is where it gets fun. So, I don't know if you guys seen on my Instagram. I'll link my Instagram down below so you guys can follow me. Um, I love these. These are, like, for, like, nails. They're, like, nail daughters. But I love these for, like, eyes. If you want it to, like, a really, like, artistic look. Or a real fun, like, colorful look or anything. I really like using these. Like I said, these are for nails. To do designs. But... I got them so I could do makeup looks. And I love these. These are so pretty. Look at Um, I got them off Amazon. I don't remember what they were under. If I can find the link, I'll link it down below. But I know I put like nail daughters or something. But if I can remember what I searched up, I'll definitely link these down below for you guys. Just because they're so fun and they're so cool. So you guys feel like I said, use them for nails or your eye. So I'm just looking for the shape because these came in... There's five of them, but it came with 10 different shapes. So there's shapes down here and there's some shapes down here. So I want to make sure I get like the perfect shape. I think I'm going to use this one with this one. I think I'm going to go in between with small ones and big ones. And then I'm going to use a MAC, um, what do you call these? Like, I guess like the pot liners, the gel liner. I'm going to go into it with a gel liner and I'm going to poke this in here carefully. And then I'm just going to dot this. Let me go close up for y'all. The only thing about a gel liner, I feel like, it does like, as you can say, like dry down really quick. Then I'm going to go in with the bigger side of the thing. And I'm just going to do some bigger ones. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? The Dalmatian look. The Cruella de Vil. Like, I feel like this would be, like, such a good, like, Cruella de Vil vibe. <laughs> this is actually giving me way more, not cow, but Cruella de Vil. And you guys are just going to have fun with it. Don't overdo it, but have fun with your nails, see? With your dots. I'm actually just going to scoop some on back of my hand so it'll be easier. Like this. You know what, guys? Let me try. I want to try my marker. I feel like my marker would also be really good for dotting. So we're going to get the marker one, the Winnow Wild one. Oh, yeah. This is actually really good. Guys, I think you just need, like, the Winnow Wild 
eyeliner one or whatever you guys have. And that is it, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one for you guys, but I'm just gonna speed up the process so this one's gonna be really fast. More like a time lapse, I guess you guys could call it. I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna use this and the the daughter just because I feel like the marker is really good to like perfect them, but just to get to do like a real quick stamp on I'm gonna do the nail things. And then like I said, the other one would just be for like perfecting my dots. Okay guys, so I think I'm pretty much done with this look already, like, with the dotting. It looks so good. I'm just going to do my base right here, and then I'm going to do, pop on some lashes, and I'll show you guys the bottom. But I think the bottoms will be really simple, but, yeah, we'll be right back, babe. Alright, I think I'm going to add this a little bit. I think I'm going to add a gray, maybe, guys. Not something kind of soft on the bottom, not too harsh. So maybe, like, this color right here, Ignite. And this is the Smoke Show from Colourpop. Just something kind of like, like, just like that, underneath, right underneath. This is the big eyelashes. Get a clean brush, make sure everything's nicely smoothed out, there's no fallout. And then we're going to do our mascara, so just... Alright guys, so there we are done. Um... I just want to show you guys this up close. So this is actually the finished look. I popped on just some gray um, eyeshadow just to make it a little bit more even. But I love, guys, like, oh, look at this cow look. Or the Dalmatians look, whatever you want to call it. I think it looks so pretty, guys. Like, I think it looks really, really nice. I am in love with it. I think it looks super gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think. And give me more ideas what you guys want to see. You guys want to see more looks like this. You guys want to see different looks. Let me know, babes. Right? So this is the finished look. I kind of added just a gray smoky, if you guys saw. Just to make it a little bit more, like, dramatic, but not too much. Um, just to make it more even. But this is it, guys. Look. You guys see how bomb that looks? So, alright, babe, this is the finished look. Make sure you guys to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Alright, babes, I love you. Bye!